What's going on, y'all? This is your boy, Scotty by Nature TV, and we're here for a brand new episode of Yes for the Mess, where we talk about celebrity gossip, hot topics, and all things reality TV based. I hope you guys are having a wonderful, wonderful Saturday, and I plan on doing the same. Before we get into today's mess, let's talk about what we got coming up on the horizon, which is the Whether You Like It or Not Season 5 Atlanta Edition panel. We will be returning on May the 8th right here on Scotty by Nature TV, where it will be nothing but R-H-O-A, okay? R-H-O-A, that's all we're talking about. We're not talking about no other show, nothing but Housewives. Okay, so make sure you guys tune in. It would be the same main six, Scotty by Nature TV, Giving You the Real Tea, Josiah's World TV, Yacrates, Really Be TV, and Simply Sakina with our three special guests, El Teddy 27, um, Aaron Wiles out, and Reggie Artis. So make sure you guys are tuned in for this on May the 8th. All right. Make sure you guys are there. All right. So with that being said, you guys, that's pretty much all that we got to talk about for now. So let's go ahead and get into the mess. Now we're here to talk about Candace Dillard and how she put Giselle Bryant on blast and confirms her falling out with Robin Dixon. Now this article comes from Urban Bell Mag, but the um, source of this comes from my little bro and good friend, House of Aaron. So let's go ahead and get into what they had to say. So it says that Giselle Bryant and Candace Dillard's falling out was very controversial. Okay. So we already know that Candace has made her feelings about Giselle, you know, known during the, you know, during this past season, it was a hot topic about what she said about Chris Bassett. And on top of that, Candace said that there is a, there was a colorism issue and she refused to back down on her stance about it being a colorism issue. Okay. Now the reunion moment was discussed on social media. Fans sided with Candace against Giselle and there were some others that denied colorism at, you know, saying that there was no colorism at all. But then, you know, regardless of what happened, Giselle's character continues to come into question during this current season of the Real Housewives Ultimate Girls Trip. Now, Giselle and Candace are both cast members. And at one point, Giselle accused Candace of stealing liquor. So the accusation did not sit well with Candace. And Candace once again said that Giselle is playing a dangerous game. Candace talked about this during an interview with House of Aaron. Like I said, should I tell my little brother? Okay. She said, well, first of all, as a black woman accusing another black woman of stealing on national TV of nar larceny is 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 what I said. Yes, is what I said. She continued. She called Karen Huger a modern day Karen. She's a Karen. That was very Karen of you. That is very white privilege. My things are missing. So someone must have stolen them. It couldn't be, couldn't have been misplaced or lost or maybe got broken. And then the house staff threw it away. It couldn't be any of those logical things. It had to be someone in the house stole it. And I need to search everyone's room. Well, who are you? Candace also made an interesting accusation about last season's reunion. She pulled something similar to this at our reunion. She misplaced her phone and accused a black man of stealing. That is what she does. Aaron asked her which reunion. Candace, Candace answered the most recent. She elaborated that it was someone who was working on the show is what I will say. And she blankly accused this person of stealing her phone. This is her MO. She wants everybody to be a villain when she's the actual villain. The phone was eventually discovered and then the phone was found later. Now, the next thing that she talked about was her fallout with Robin, okay? Now, Candace also confirmed that she was no longer on good terms with Robin Dixon. After the controversies involving Juan Dixon, Candace just feels like Robin is a fraud. And she said that Robin has since flipped on her. Fans will likely see this play out on the upcoming season of The Real Housewives of Potomac, okay? Now, that was pretty much the gist of this story. Now, I'm going to stay on her and Robin for just a second, then I'm going to move back on to Giselle, and then we're going to go on ahead and get up out of here. What I will say is that, Candice, I'm glad that you're finally seeing that these girls are not your friends. I'm very glad that you're seeing that. I'm very glad that you see that Robin has never been here for you. That's what I will say. I am very happy to know that because I, you know, I haven't always been, you know, I've always been very indifferent to Candice. You feel what I'm saying? I've always been indifferent. You know, it's kind of like this for me, like, you know. Her first season, which was season three when Candace first came along, I loved Candace. Like, I was here for her dragging the hell out of Sharice and Giselle because I felt like it was 
you know, necessary and needed. But then during season four, she got on my nerves. And then season five, with the whole fight with Monique, I was very indifferent. You know, I started off defending Candace, but then towards the end of the show, I was kind of indifferent. Season six, she won, she won me over. And season seven, I was truly on her side. So, you know, I never felt like Robin was really her friend. And I'm glad that she finally sees it. You feel what I'm saying? So, it is what it is. You feel what I'm saying? So I'm glad that she sees that. And um, with that being said, I'm glad that um, this will be addressed on the brand new season of The Real Housewives of Potomac. Okay, so last thing is this whole Giselle thing. Listen, Candice, I've been telling you a long time ago that Giselle was never your friend. I said that she used you for her own personal gain when it came down to your fight with Monique. She never liked you. She only used you to get her enemy off the show. And then she turned around and used your husband as a storyline and then tried to make it seem like he tried to do something to her. I think that is absolutely whacked, whack as hell. And I really feel like it's, 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 it's really effed up for, for, her to, for her to do that to you. But I'm glad that you've seen her for who she really is. And that's all that really matters here. So shout out to Candace And Giselle is um, a person with privilege. Like she demands answers. She demands people do whatever she asks them to do, but she don't give nobody else that same courtesy. Like Giselle, go somewhere and sit your ass down. Like she just kills me. I'm over it. <laughs> I'm over it. But like I said, uh, you know, Giselle is, you know, Candace is the right one to get her ass together. But I'm definitely going to be team Candace in this situation. I am definitely glad that Candace is seeing the green-eyed bandits for who they really are. And hopefully her, Karen, and Wendy have an alliance. And I know that alliances really do mess up shows. But in this instance, Giselle and Rob need to be taken down. That's all I got to say about that. So whatever. So y'all, with that being said, you guys, this be your boy, Scotty by Nature TV. Be sure to like, rate, comment, subscribe, and share this video. And also click on the notification bell so you can be notified whenever a video drops. If you want to follow me on any form of social media, my Twitter, my Instagram, and my TikTok will be down below in the description box. With that being said, you guys, your boys up out here until my next video. I will talk to you guys a little bit later. Rest in peace to my girl, Danita Rashawn, and I will see you on the next one. Bye, y'all. What's up, guys? It's your boy, Tramel. I just wanted to say that I have a new project that's out. It's called Mixed Feelings. It's on all streaming platforms. I would hope that you would go and check it out. It's a really good feel of an album. It's got everything you need and more. It's got R&B. It's got a little bit of pop. It's got a little bit of hip hop. It's everything that you need and more. It's out all streaming platforms, like I said. Please check me out and you can also follow me at i am underscore tramel that's i am underscore t-r-a-m-e-l check me out hope to hear from you